everybody, it's Leslie from Black Dog Vintage again. And I am super excited because I went back to the flea market and I scored. Uh, it's a massive haul today. It's It really is, it's a massive haul. And a lot of the pieces will go into a live coming up. Uh, I'm not sure which one. It'll either be on Thursdays or Saturdays. Now that I changed the Saturday format, and if you're not familiar uh, with the set, new Saturday format, um, I it's still going to be a clearance format, but it will be $10 starts or less. So I will have the opportunity to do some better jewelry, um, some of the things that I would normally do on the Vintage Live, but uh, I just have so much jewelry I want to clear out. And then it'll also give me the opportunity to do jewelry lots for you guys. So it'll be like earring lots, brooch lots, necklace lots, bracelet lots, all that kind of stuff. So multiples. Um, so those of you who are resellers, you might have some good deals. Uh, so that will be awesome. So those are Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then the regular Vintage Live will be on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern as well. Uh, so a lot of this jewelry will probably go into the live, but I'll give you guys prices as well. So definitely uh, let me know if you're interested in any of the pieces. Just email or text me. Uh, all the instructions are in the description of the video. I'll also put up the little screenshot um, part where you can screenshot and let me know if you're interested. But just basically just send me the price, the description, and the timestamp of the item and let me know if you're interested. And then I will send you an invoice via PayPal. Uh, so let's get to the haul. It's a pretty massive one. Hopefully we can get through it all and uh, we'll see. All right, let me know what you like. Let me know what your favorite uh, favorite item is. And if you like my content, if you like my videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and then you'll know when I go live as well. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so let's get right into the jewelry. I already dumped the bags because um, I that makes a lot of noise and I just didn't want to do that again, make a whole bunch of noise. Um, but let's get right into it. Um, this is the first piece. Isn't this just the coolest little turtle with this, it's almost like a dichroic glass cabochon. Um, I thought this was just gorgeous. And this does have a mark and I really struggled. I had my loop with me and everything and I really struggled trying to find it. Maybe I can read it here. I don't know. I, I can't tell if it's which way to go with it. But if anybody knows or can make that out, let me know. I cannot. I'm not sure which way to go with it. Um, but it almost looks like it's got like, I don't even know. I, all I know is that it's gorgeous. Um, I need to do a little bit more research on this one, so I'm not going to give a price on it. But if you are interested in it, please let me know. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, he's missing a little red eye. I can replace that, though, super easy. Um, I do have red stones. So, but if you're interested in this piece, let me know, and I can give you a price on it. I just need to do a little bit more research, try to figure out what this maker is. Maybe I can Google image it. I'm not sure, but it's gorgeous. So, super pretty. Um, here is a little um, piano, all really um, decked out in the AB stones and the clear stones. Really cute. Um, it does have a little C clasp. Not really sure if this is actually old or not. I'm thinking probably not, but I just loved it. And if there's any music lovers out there, this could be a really cute little piece for you. So um, I'm gonna say uh, $10 on this little piano. Super cute. Um, this is an older piece. Um, I believe this is an older piece. Um, and yeah, and this says LN25. I've had these pieces before, the LN ones with marked 25. I've had these before. Um, so this is older. I love this. Um, I love the green stones in this. Absolutely gorgeous. 
um, nice big hefty piece and uh, we're gonna say uh, $20 on this brooch absolutely gorgeous and then here is oh sorry I'm trying to roll up my sleeve here so you don't see my sweatshirt um, this is a really cute little lizard and he's got little green eyes super cute love the little baguettes going down his back um, looks like all of his stones are in there, no problem. And uh, he is just adorable. This is the back of him. He's super cute. And uh, we're going to say $10 on the lizard as well. And look at this. This is a pretty little stick pin with the little intaglio rose. Super cute. And I'll say 5 on the stick pin. This is such a good haul, you guys. Look at this little dragonfly tack pin with the little triangular red stones. This is very, very cool. I'd say this is probably pretty old too. And uh, what, what does this say? Does it have anything? Balu. Now I'm assuming this is the original. So, I mean, I can't say that that is the original backing to the tack pin. So I don't know. But I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say eight dollars on the tack pin. Super cool. And here for my fruit lovers, here is a little yellow rhinestone pear. I know some of you guys love your fruit, and this is just an adorable little piece. Gotta love this. Ah, trying to get that back in there. There we go. Super cute little little fruit. Pin. and I'm gonna say eight on the pair and then here is a very old brooch really delicate love the little glass pearls in there a little bit of scratching on the pearls that is the back of it and I'm gonna say eight on this brooch as well very pretty um, then we've got this one and this one is gorgeous this is gold stone and let's see what other, if this is jade or not. It could be jade and carnelian, onyx. Yeah, that goes right to jadeite. And then this clear, or not clear, but that's going to go into, well, it just goes into that right at the very bottom of the quartz. What about the black? Same with the black, very bottom of that quartz. And then, ah. And same with the orange. So I'm betting that that's like a quartz or an agate, a, car, a onyx, and a carnelian. And then that's obviously a gold stone. And um, I would imagine this is gold plated. Um, these usually are a gold plate and uh, I don't see any marks on this one. I didn't look, but I've seen these before. They're usually gold plated. I love the stones on there. They are real stones. We're going to say $20 on that one. Um, and then let's move into another brooch here. This one's really lovely. I love this kind of you know, ribbony kind of um, very, um, it's got like a lot of movement to it. It's really pretty. And then it's got the little rhinestones in there. It's a really pretty gold tone brooch. Um, very like 1940s almost. And it does have a pendant as well as the brooch. This would be really pretty. Wouldn't that be pretty as a pendant? I think that would be just gorgeous as a pendant as well. Beautiful stones, and the stones are in really nice condition. There is, you know, one that is maybe a little bit darker right there, but that's it. And it just almost just looks like it's got a shadow on it. It's not something I'd be super concerned about. And then that lighter blue in the center, but it's just got so much movement, almost like a pinwheel effect. It's just such a pretty, pretty brooch. And uh, I love that, and the fact that it's a pendant as well. Very, very um, multifunctional, you know, honestly. It's very multifunctional. And uh, we're going to say $20 on that one as well. 
And then of course, these are these cluster brooches. Some of my favorites, you know, great, great brooches. This one is just you're very, you know, very typical. You know, they're sewn on and then it has this backing to kind of protect where it's sewn on. You can see, you know, how they're made right there. The beads are kind of sewn on or they're, you know, put on using like a a pin and then they're they're fastened onto you can kind of see where there's a metal plate there like a dome plate with the little holes that's how they're made and then this is then fastened on and you can see the little you know how it's hooked on to the plate with the holes so that's how these are made and this one's gorgeous with the AB crystals and you know a few of these sprinkled on like a coat like a like blossoms or flowers is really pretty especially if you have different colors of them or something it's really really a pretty way to wear these um i did get another one in black somewhere here yeah here's the black one wouldn't these be pretty together and this one's black and gold That'd be really pretty. So on either one of these, and this is the this is the gold backing on this. This is silver. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna see the back, but um, you know, even though that they're different, you know, tones. This is AB crystal and silver. That's black and gold. They're both really pretty. But um, 18 on either one of these. They're just so so pretty. This one's really pretty. It's got little black seed beads on it, but really gorgeous so 18 on either one of those super pretty brooches so these are pre-sale prices too so you know if you come into a um you know the um the live <coughs> starting bids might be slightly less but you never know where they go sometimes they go much higher than pre-sale sometimes you might might get them lower um you know if you've been to a lot of my lives uh, you you know how that goes. You know how sometimes the bidding can get really high on many of these brooches and many of the necklaces. And you know, I mean, you know how it it can happen. Um, so you know, when you buy pre-sale, you you're guaranteed the piece. Um, if you're bidding, then you know how high they can go. So you never know. You never know. Um, this brooch is gorgeous. The pave crystals and then the little baguettes right there. Very, It's got some dimension with the way that's kind of clustered. Super pretty with the baguettes kind of holding these together. Super pretty. I love that pave. Absolutely gorgeous. I looked it over. I didn't really see any missing, oh, maybe one missing stone there. Um, potentially I could fix that. Um, but as is this brooch, we're going to say $15 as is. This doesn't sell by the live. I might try to repair it. Sometimes, you know, with these older brooches, a repair can be strikingly different. The, the color of the rhinestone can look strikingly different than when you don't repair it. And it just kind of blends in when you, you know, if you don't repair it, it just if you're looking at it, can you really tell that it's not, that it's missing a stone? Not really. Um, if I put a new crystal in there, uh, sometimes they're so much clearer. They've got so much more, um, you know, because they're new, they don't have that age to them. It just kind of stands out like a sore thumb. So it's sometimes hard for me to repair these and have them look right so we'll see i might see if i can repair it if it makes it to the live otherwise um uh, you can have it as is um okay i've got a couple of necklaces here too um this one is really cool um i got a little hair on here um get it off okay I tried it on that's why um, this necklace is gorgeous. Look at this. So these are all glass beads. Um, we've got some glass pearls, some black glass beads, and then check out these. They're just a really pretty like check glass type of bead. Um, just gorgeous. And then we've got some of these gold beads. These are a lucite bead. 
these are just really, really, it's just a really unique necklace. But the thing that I love about it is the clasp. Look at that clasp. The detail in this clasp is literally just incredible. We got a little, looks like it was wrapped or something there. Um, but absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. And uh, the, you know, you open it up, it's just a standard box clasp, really good condition. It's not pulling very out easily or anything. Um, absolutely stunning, stunning necklace. Three strands, we've got some AB crystals in there. Um, it's literally just so gorgeous. Um, in a great combination of colors, this black, the gold, the um, kind of like a white in this beige, just amazing. This necklace is so stunning, absolutely stunning. And the length on it to the shortest length is going to be, uh, it's about 16 inches. To the longest, it's going to be about 20. So absolutely stunning necklace, 16 to 20 inches on the on the um, lengths of the necklace parts. Um, absolutely gorgeous. This is just so different, so unique. Um, and the colors are just amazing. And I love this little lucite bead with the glitter. It's just so cool. And uh, we're going to say $40 on this one. This is so cool. Just so cool. Um... Oh, this one was cool too. Look at this, another necklace. So we've got some pink, this is, these are plastic beads, but a really cool, like pink. It's got a little bit of um, unique, it's not just a solid pink. It's got this kind of modeled almost look. It's got an old time clasp. So it's got one of these type, types of clasp, not really a box clasp, but similar. Forgot what this kind of clasp is called. Um, but then it's got this enameled flower as a centerpiece. And I like how it's got the pink. So it's not trying to match the flower. It's almost like matching the skin tone. So your flower is your centerpiece. And it's not, nothing's getting in the way of this flower. It's just, it's stunning. And it, I don't know if it's newer or not. I, it, I don't feel like it's newer with this clasp. Not positive. But I'm going to say 18 on this necklace. Oh, and the length of it might help, right? The length would be very helpful. Um, we're looking at about a 20 inch length on this necklace. And uh, that's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Um, let's see. This is another one. This is potentially a little bit newer in my book. Um, it's got that kind of striated metal back, um, which usually indicates a slightly newer brooch. It does, oh, it does look like it's got a mark. I didn't notice that when I first was looking. It does. Oh, this is a Graziano. Well, go figure. So this is a Graziano brooch. Very gorgeous Graziano. Look at the crystals. That's what really struck me is how intense those crystals were. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I just really, really loved this one. And... Uh, but we're gonna say um, we're gonna say twenty on this brooch. It's I think it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then here's another old, very old brooch, probably nineteen thirties, forties. I love the red stones. I do believe they're stones. I don't think that these are real, but you never know. No, nope, they're glass. They're glass. And they're set in uh, what does it say? 
Wilcox Sterling. So it's set in Sterling. Looks like it's um, maybe a verme over Sterling with beautiful cut crystals and a pearl. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna say 20 on that brooch as well. Here is another really pretty one. A little cornucopia, really pretty uh, stones on that one, crystals on that. That is the back of it. Really, really nice piece. And uh, we're gonna say, uh, we'll say 20 on this one too. Look at this. This is an absolutely gorgeous, look at that. Gorgeous blue crystal necklace. Absolutely gorgeous blue crystal necklace. And this is, that is the box clasp. It works wonderful. And this is really nice and long. Really beautiful and long. And this is the length on this one is uh, 22 inches to this first, uh, like to the shorter necklace, which is really long for these. Like you don't normally see these that long. And 24 inches to the second strand. And I love how it's got the flatter stone, that flatter crystal. That's very unique too. And it's in this beautiful blue, beautiful blue. So this is super unique. This is not something you see very often. Beautiful blue cluster box clasp. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to say 45 on that. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning necklace. So 45 on that one. Um, there we go. Uh, absolutely stunning piece. So 45 on this blue. I just love this blue. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, here is another really pretty gold tone with a little AB flower in the center. Really pretty. That's the back of it. Could also be a little pendant. And we're going to say $10 on that one. Here is a good old brooch. Look at that. Look at those really pretty like amethyst crystals. Um, this is the back of it. Um, you can see the age on this. This is old. That's old. I like how it's open. You can see the light through it. Very almost art deco in its design. It's a really unique, very, very unique piece. Very art deco. And we're gonna say 20 on this one as well. Look at this, just in time for Valentine's Day. Cute little pearl and blue hearts. That's the back of it. And we're gonna say uh, 12 on the hearts. That's beautiful. And this one's also a little bit newer, you can tell. Cute little, little bow with the pearl center. And we'll say uh, 15 on that one. Um, this here, probably my find of the day yesterday is this necklace. So this is, um, all individually knotted. Um, this is a flapper necklace. This, these are incredibly, oh, this is just incredible. Fighting everything in this like blue. And I don't know, I mean, I'm a Lions fan. This is like um, playoff weekend for the Detroit Lions, just in case you see this later in the replay or whatever, or in the, you know, after the games. But um, playoff weekend for the Lions. This is like the Honolulu blue color. This is a 60 inch necklace, but you know, finding a couple of these blue necklaces, it's like meant to be. Um, but this is, uh, and I'm talking Lions football, just in case you guys aren't football fans. <laughs> um, 
but look at this necklace. It is 60 inches long. This is a true flapper length necklace. The way these are knotted and just the color of, you know, how these knots are aged. Um, I could, I could soak this in some retro wash just to whiten it up a little bit. I, I don't want to though, because you can just see the age on it. And to me, it just adds to the mystique of this necklace. But I do believe this is a true flapper necklace from the 20s. Um, I just think this is amazing. And the color, unreal, unreal. And I'm going to say $80 on this one. This is just 60 inches long. Let's just listen to that, that glass. Oh, $80 on that. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, here's another really special necklace that I picked up. Um, I believe this is sterling too. Um, it is a choker. Um, natural pearl. Um, look at this that kind of silvery blue iridescent and the white iridescent, these little like pearl chips. And this is the clasp. And I'm not sure how this clasp works. Oh, that's nice. it. Interesting. Oh, so you can wear it individually or you can double it. So it's like a, it's like a twofer, almost. That's gorgeous. And then this, um, this is marked somewhere I saw it, 925. So let's test it super quick. I'm going to have to buy more solution. And there it goes. It's blue. So it is truly 925, or it's truly sterling silver. This is cool. I like this. This is nice. Oh, and we got to open that back up. Okay, so this is really cool. So these are pearls, natural pearls. These could be dyed, of course. Um, and then your sterling silver clasp. This is gorgeous. And uh, so 65 on this necklace, and I'll put that back together. So 65 on the pearls, that's really cool. Um, okay, so then we have another, another necklace here. And this is also, a pearl and sterling necklace. So we've got natural pearl right there. We've got some stones around it. Let's see what these stones are. Probably cubic zirconium. Oh, they don't even move. Oh, there it goes, glass. So probably CZs. And then we've got some more natural pearls. Super pretty. And I am sure this is, is that Mark Sterling somewhere? I don't see it Mark Sterling, but let's test it to see. All right, let's get my little baby thing out. Scratched at the solution. Oh, clasp is not sterling. All right, let's see if this is sterling. Looking at it, I am thinking no. Test this. I try 
pressed in that. Nope, definitely not. Wow. And we're going to test this. Doubt it. Doesn't scratch very well. And nope. All right, so this is not sterling. It looks like definitely like natural pearls, but it's definitely not sterling. So um, we're just gonna say, um, mm, let's see, let me just get a measurement for you guys. It is a, about a 18 inch length, and we're gonna just say $20 on this. this it's super pretty, and those are they're natural pearls. So we'll just say $20 on that. Weird. Weird. This is a duck. Fancy duck. I don't know what this is. Shane picked this out. So uh, I went shopping with Shane, you know, to the flea market because he's always a huge help. And we have dinner afterward. So it's a kind of like our Friday night thing now. Um... So he picked this one out. He liked the colors and everything, and he thought this one was cool, and I really like this one. Um, cool enamel, really pretty, really nicely done, and we're gonna say 15 on that one. Really pretty. Here is a beautiful blue butterfly. Really pretty. This one is marked Jerry's. So super cool, Jerry's enamel butterfly. And uh, we're going to say uh, 12 on the Jerry's Butterfly. Here is a little wreath brooch. This one is nice and vintage. This is the back of it. And uh, they are, uh, let's see, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say $8 on that one. Here is another adorable butterfly brooch. I love this. I love the little moon glow. Looks like we got a little smudge. On there there we go like the moon glow on that that's the back of it and uh, I'm gonna say eight on that one as well that is another really pretty necklace that I picked up I'm not positive of the stone I will have to try to figure that out um, let's see if any of these other stones these black ones um, if you were in the live that I had the other day um, I ended up having um, yeah, see, so this is, uh, it might be glass. Um, I ended up having a necklace that I didn't test all the stones. It ended up being like onyx and labradorite. And I, I thought it was all glass and with just the labradorite, but it ended up being onyx too. And totally missed it. Um, this is, it looks like it's just glass, but I'm not positive what this bottom stone is. Oh, this bottom stone. Here, look, at, it goes really high up. Um, testing it. And it goes all the way up into... Well, it goes, oh, hard to tell. So it goes at the very, very top. I mean, it goes past quartz amethyst citrine. goes into jadeite spinel. I don't know. I'm going to try to do it maybe on the bottom, like where the blue is. Maybe it is just, I don't know. I have to get my little app out. So I have to figure out what this is. So I'm gonna hold off on pricing this one. I don't know what that stone is. If anybody has an idea, please let me know in the comments. I am not great with stones. I used to, you know, a long time ago, I used to sell like, you know, beads and stuff. Gemstones were one of them, but I didn't know what they were when I bought them to resell. 
I bought them knowing what they were. So I, I can't necessarily identify them. Um, this is so cute. Isn't this pretty? This is vintage, gorgeous, $8 on this one. I love this. It's a little brooch. It's super pretty. Um, here is an or a little stick pin with a really pretty crystal on there. I thought that was really pretty. And uh, $5 on the stick pin. And here we have a adjustable ring that is a um, mood ring. And uh, I love mood rings. The last time I had a mood ring, um, I sold it in a live and everybody wanted it. It was awesome. So I'm going to say $12 on the mood ring. Um, this is a butterfly that needs to be repaired. I also need to do some research on this one. So I'm setting this one aside, but just know that I have it. And if somebody is interested in it when it is repaired, please let me know. Um, here is another really pretty brooch. I think I've had this one in the past. And we're going to say, um, we're going to say 15 on this one. And this actually got at a different booth at the um, flea market. It was kind of fun. Shane actually found another booth that had some vintage jewelry. Uh, all right. So this was cool. little old celluloid pin. I don't know. It almost reminds me of maybe like a Christmas one. Not positive. But that was kind of fun. And I'm going to say uh, 12 on that one. This little flamingo is so cool. And I forgot what this technique is called. So if anybody wants to remind me, please let me know. I can't remember what this technique is called. I know it is something in particular, but it is super cool. I'm gonna hold off on pricing this one until I figure that out um, so I can describe it better. But if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna set that one aside as well. Um, this is another old celluloid piece. Um, it might have a little bit of a crack right there. I'm going to say $10 on this one. Super fun. Cool old brooch. Could have a new back. Love that one. I love these old celluloids. Um, I just thought these were cool. These are earrings. Um, I just thought these were cool. They're embroidered. I just thought those were fun say eight dollars on those I just think they're really cool and then um that's just a chip from the back of an earring um and then these cloisonne oops, these cloisonne earrings I thought were gorgeous look at those cloisonne little dangle earrings those are so pretty and uh fifteen dollars on the cloisonne earrings um these I thought were pretty let me know what you think of these. Um, they've got some damage, of course, because they're super old, but they're little buckles for like shoes or something, I think. Um, they got a little damage right there. I'm gonna see if I can fix that or get that repaired a little bit, but a little pave crystal going on. Super cool little shoe buckles. Um, super fun. Anybody likes them, I will try to clean that up regardless, but if anybody likes these, um, 25 on the shoe buckles. Look at this little red, white, and blue. I know it's a little early for 4th of July, but how fun is this? Little white enameled red, white, and blue brooch. Very like 1950s, 1960s, you know, patriotic piece when everybody was patriotic. Wish we could go back to those days, you know, before everybody was so jaded. So fun. I love this piece. It's so cute. Little enamel smudge there. Little flea bite. Super cute though. Um, I'm going to say $12 on that one. Uh, let's see. Here's another really pretty gemstone necklace this there is no um there is no uh um 
clasp on this one. It's a longer necklace. Not super long though. I mean, kind of surprised there's no clasp on this. Um, it's uh, 24 inches, um, but super pretty. Let's ch check the gemstones on these. Um, I believe this is amethyst. Yep, amethyst. And then this light one, is it jade? It's in, it's in the garnet tourmaline iolite or it could be chrysophase, isn't that green? Chrysophase, phase? I can't pronounce that. Chrysopraise, chrysopraise? Am I pronouncing that right, you guys? I don't know. And then is this onyx? Yeah, that's onyx. Um, and then these are copper. So again, I need to research this piece to figure out what this green is. It might be that chryso whatever, um, cause I can't pronounce it. You guys are probably laughing your butts off at me because I'm terrible at that stuff. Um, but yeah, look at this bunny in a bathtub. How stinking adorable is this guy? Um, this is a Nemo piece. I need to research this one too. I don't know. I think this is cute, but I don't know Nemo very well, and I just want to make sure I'm pricing it accordingly. Look at this little flower. This one's so pretty. And uh, this one is also marked. And, ooh, come on. It is marked. Oh, it's just patent. Patent. Um, but... Look, at it's beautiful crystals. These are absolutely gorgeous crystals on this. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm going to say uh, $8 on that. And here we have another one of these really fluid, beautiful pieces. I love these. And uh, it's got the flower and the little bow kind of behind it. It's also a pendant. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful condition on this too. And I'm going to say 15 on that. Almost done here. Um, this piece, it's um, gold over silver. Um, so I, I would say this is probably, I'm assuming gold over silver is what that means. Um, and then we've got onyx. Pretty sure. Oh, it's coming up as glass. So that's coming up as glass. And then we have the little tiny pearls. These are the little, little pearls. Um, like rice type of pearls. Kind of looks all, no, they're not. No. Is this is this real or not? I'm gonna have to research this one. I don't know if this is real pearls or not. You know, I've had these where they're real pearls and onyx and coral, but this is coming up as glass, and I am not so sure that those are pearls. They're all a little too uniform, so I'm thinking they're not. So I'm going to say, uh, yeah, let's, we're just going to, I mean, if they are, cool. But it's uh, about 18 inches in length, and we're going to say, um, we're going to say $12 on that, because I don't think it is. We're coming to the end. We're not doing so bad today. I thought this was going to be a lot longer. Um, here's another one of those really pretty clusters. And... Uh, this one is really pretty with the gold and the silver. You could almost put it with the other two and kind of like it would bring it together, even though it's oval. And uh, that's the back of it. We're gonna say 18 on this one as well. 
This fish I thought was amazing. There is metalware on it, so it's kind of got the silver showing through on the gold, which I think is actually kind of cool. Um, and then it's got the pearl, mother of pearl jelly belly to it. Absolutely stunning. This is old, really old. We're gonna say 18 on the fish. Here's another one Shane picked out. You can tell what Shane is drawn to. This one's super cool. And a really cool bird. I think this is a pheasant, maybe? Super, really awesome. I love the rhinestones in this. We're gonna say, um, we're gonna say 18 on that one. Here is another one of these blue flowers. I totally forgot what I said for that last blue flower. Did we say 10? I think we said 10. So 10 on this blue flower or whatever I said on the last blue flower. Um, this is a gorgeous little cameo, little filigree cameo. Um, that's resin, but really lightweight. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna say $10 on this brooch. It's super pretty. I love this one. Here is another gorgeous rhinestone feather. Um, it has one little yellowed stone all the way up there. The rest of the stones all look good. I think this is really pretty. It's the back of it. We're gonna say 15 on this one. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's the back of it. I love this one. The pink, really pretty pink stones. You don't see this pink stone very often. And uh, I'm gonna say 15 on that one too. And then look at this. This is absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds me of a check piece. Maybe it is. Um, really, really pretty, really pretty piece. Look at those pink stones, that filigree, the way this leaf is. I just think this is absolutely stunning. Um, and look how clear those stones are, how they catch the light. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna say 25 on this leaf. Um, I thought this one was fun. I hope you guys like this haul. I'm thinking this haul is fun. Um, this one is cool. It has, it says chill, Chico. It's not Chico's, but maybe Chico. I don't know. It's an artist made, I think. I think he's, I think we're gonna say $10 on him. And this is a cool little like plastic violets. I think these look like little African violets maybe. It's the back of it. These are plastic. I don't think these are celluloid necessarily. I mean, it might be celluloid, but done later. Um, this is kind of cool. And we're gonna say like, we'll say $10 on that one. This is a beautiful little mini brooch. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful stones in this one. And uh, we're gonna say uh, $10 on that one. And this is a gorgeous flower with the little very light pink stones on this. Little rivets, rivet right here, rivet right there. They're all prong set. This is gorgeous. I like the leaves too. We're gonna say 15 on the flower. Shane picked this one out too. Said it looked like the Gucci bee. Kinda does, kinda does. We've got navy enamel, brighter pink, and then I love the pearl wings. It's kind of fun. That's the back of it. We're gonna say 15 on the bee. I like this bee. It is newer. But it's fun. This is another gorgeous piece. I'm gonna take out this little, I might have had something hanging in the center, um, but I'm just gonna take that off because obviously whatever it was is not there anymore. And this is marked Por, Polnini, Polnini, which I don't know what that is. I need to do more research. So I am gonna set this one aside 
um, because I don't know that one. Uh, this is a really pretty red flower, little roped um, wreath type brooch, really pretty. I'm gonna say 12 on this one. I like that one. Here I have a tiger's eye, just stretchy bracelet, really pretty. And we're gonna say 10 on the tiger's eye. I do have one more necklace here. This one is crystal and natural pearl. Um, and then we do have a, um, the, uh oh, oh no. I might have to fix the, well, this one's gonna have to be fixed. Uh, the clasp doesn't work very well. Let me see if I can redo it. Darn it. You know, when you don't check, when you're going through, and you're not checking things close enough, this is what happens. Yeah. I might just need to. Yeah, I think I might just need to do players with that, but I'll play with it. So, but that's, once I fix it, that'll be available. I think that'll be an easy fix. This I thought was really pretty. Newer also, but the little butterfly wreath, super cute. $12 on this one, super pretty. That is really gorgeous too. I love that green stone, also newer. And we're gonna say $8 for that little flower. This I thought was so cute. This is, this is the back. This is also a Jerry's. Look at how sweet this is. This is older. I love this. We're gonna say, um, I'm gonna say 15 on this one. And look at this old teddy bear. Oh, so stinking cute. Does have a little bit of wear down there. I might be able to get that off. So cute. I say 12 on the teddy bear. And then oh, this is gorgeous. This is a Capri, I think. Yeah, this is a Capri. I love Capri brooches. Very elegant. These were like mm, big in the 70s, I think. Capri was a big 70s. Kind of like when the whole gold tone, Monet, Trafari, all of them came out. Um, D Dorlan, all of those. Uh, I love Capri. is just very like classy. Really pretty. I love this little star brooch with the pearl center. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And we're going to say 18 on the Capri brooch. And then last but not least, the probably the most adorable thing I've ever seen is this little sweet owl. Look at that, how cute. That's the back. It's just painted, so cute. I think it's got Jeannie. Jeannie painted this owl. Thank you, Jeannie, for painting such a sweet little thing. I just thought it was adorable. I know there's people who collect owls. Some people who love this like 1970s look owl with the big eyes. I just think it's so sweet. $12 for this one. I just think he's so cute. So tell me what you think of them. I just think it's cute. So that's my haul. That's the huge thrift store haul that I had today. Please let me know what you think. I hope you guys loved it. Um, and then let me know if you're interested in any of these items. Um, and then anything that's left over will go into the live. Um, now probably I won't be able to get to all of it in the live, but you know, um, it'll be available and, uh, let me know though. Let me know what you thought. I would love to hear your opinions and, uh, I hope to hear from you in the comments and I hope to see you in a future live coming up. And I, don't forget Thursdays and Saturdays, both at 7 p.m. Eastern, and we have a blast. So please join our community, and I hope to see you there, and we'll see you on the next video or on the next live. Thank you guys so much. Love you all.